What is up, everybody? This is Brian, the Toyota guy over here at Fred Anderson Toyota in Asheville, North Carolina. And it's been kind of a Highlander month for me. Just Saturday alone, I sold two Highlanders. So I've been in these things quite a bit. A lot of people get excited about them. I just had somebody come and test drive this one also. So I figured I would just take a minute and do kind of just a quick walk around and uh, show you some of the features on why these things are so popular. Alrighty, so this example is a 2017. This is an XLE trim. So it's gonna be kind of in the mid trim, maybe mid to upper, depending on how you look at it. And this one specifically is gonna have a decent uh, feature set. Some of the stuff includes a sunroof. Of course, you've got leather, heated seats. Uh, you've got a power folding lift gate. So you've got a lot going on here. Of course, you've got the kind of upgraded aluminum wheels on this one. But what I really like about these as far as styling is these Highlanders are a little understated. Some cars just have a really aggressive you know, body line. They've got just really aggressive cues here and there. They're screaming at you, basically. But this has a really kind of an understated, you know, kind of a simple, luxurious, kind of an old school Toyota feel to it. And that's one of the things a lot of people end up liking about them. Now, one of the main reasons why people shop for a Highlander or any SUV in this size is for the third row. Um, so what I figured I would do is I'd kind of show you a little bit of, of how the third row works there. So you can see the, the middle row, the second row does slide around. Your third row does fold down, of course. Um, it does recline, same as the second row. And you can see it's got a decent amount of room back here for a third row folding seat. Uh, you've got cup holders up in the roof here. You've got your air vents, so you can get air to all three rows. So we'll go ahead and adjust the seat back here. And again, what's nice is you can see you've got just a manual slider here, so you can move the seat forwards and backwards. So if you are just using the front two seats, you've got just as much room um, in the back seats as really you would in the front. Let's we'll just say you're gonna load this up and you need a little more room in the back. You've got somebody that's maybe a shorter driver up front. You can move that seat a little bit closer, so you can allow for a little bit more room in the back if you need to for more for, for full-size adults. Um, you do, of course, um, have your uh, auto climate control back here for the second and third rows. Um, on the higher trims, you can get heated seats for the rear, but in this XLE, we do not have that. For people with kids, especially younger kids, one of the really nice features of all these Highlanders is you have this really nice window shade, which is actually built in. And that is a really nice feature. I don't care if you've got kids or if you're an adult and you just want to have a little bit of extra shade in the back. That's a nice little kind of hidden feature built into the doors here. With the XLE and higher trims, you can actually have a split tailgate where if you push the button here, you can access the uh, tailgate with just the glass open, which there's a lot of opportunities where that would be necessary. You can obviously reach in, you can see what kind of storage you have. Or if we go ahead and close that, we can see how the power lift gate works. And there you have your power lift gate. You can kind of see just how much room you actually have in here when you've got the third row up. You've got kind of a little bit of a pocket right here with some storage underneath of everything. Uh, you've got a little bit extra storage underneath of there. And then of course, a pretty decent amount of space back here uh, for luggage, suitcases, groceries, whatever it might be. And then of course, if you go ahead and fold these seats down, which is extremely easy, you've got a really nice, uh, really nice storage compartment. And then of course, if you want to, you can even take those uh, second row seats Fold those flat and you've got a nice uh, flat load floor if you need to get some larger stuff in here like maybe a small dresser, TV, something like that. Up front though is where we start to see a lot of the features that people like. Um, so as we come over here, of course you're gonna have your auto climate control. As I mentioned earlier, you're gonna have your dials for your heated seats here. What the Highlanders are also really well known for is they take a little bit of the technology that's popular in the Forerunners and Tacomas and it trickles down over the Highlanders. So you've got your center locking diff, your uh, downhill assist, uh, your snow mode and of course you can toggle off traction control and I don't care where you look if you look for SUVs that are really good for uh, snow driving the Highlanders always get really top marks here um, so as we look over here on the steering wheel um, of the later years on these Highlanders you get the Toyota safety sense suite of software uh, software and hardware so you've got your uh, lane keep assist your smart cruise adaptive cruise where you can adjust your speed uh, with the vehicle in front of you and then you also have blind spot monitoring if we look over here on the mirrors and you look at that tiny little emblem the little logo right there that's going to be your blind spot monitoring of course the windows uh defrost the mirrors excuse me defrost on their own uh, and if we look over here to the left of the steering wheel you can see you've got your power lift gate button you've got your auto shut off which you can toggle on and off if you like and you have auto high beams 
So not only do you have your auto headlamps on the stock like a lot of cars nowadays, you can have your auto high beams as well. So ideally you could leave your lights on all the time, high beams and everything, and you'll get the maximum amount of lighting at all times. Other than that, you can see we've got a really smart array of pockets everywhere. You've got the split opening center console, which is extremely deep. You've got the tray, which you can sit in here however you'd like to have it. Uh, with this kind of setup, you can just about fit like a backpack or a purse or lunches or a jacket or there's all kinds of things you could shove in here. Of course, you've got power ports everywhere for charging your phone. You've got this really nice tray here on the dashboard so you can put you know, your wallet, your keys, you know, like your key list, your cell phone. You can actually run your cables through this hole here and actually plug those down into the USB down below. That's just a nice little thoughtful item. So you've got that tray that runs across. Of course, you've got more cup holders in the doors. You've got just pockets and storage everywhere. Now, one of the best features of these Highlanders that people always rave about is just how they drive. And I know I can't really get that point across when I'm just shooting a video here, but I highly encourage you, if you're looking for an SUV in this size, I don't care if you're local and you live here in Asheville, but wherever you are, if you're watching this video somewhere else, go and take a test drive of one of these and just see how it feels. In this generation, they all have a 3.5 liter V6, which makes about 300 horsepower and about the same in torque. So you've got tons of power. You've got all wheel drive and front wheel drive configurations, this one being all wheel drive behind us, but it's just got a really good power plant with the uh, auto shutoff feature and some other technology from Toyota, you can actually get close to 30 miles per gallon on the highway with this thing. And they're actually not too bad around town as well. But the common characteristics that I hear is that people just really like how smooth they are going down the road. The power delivery from the V6 is just incredibly strong. You've got torque from a really low speed on. And honestly, they've got a fairly sporty characteristic about them. You know, it's not a sports car. I'm not gonna pretend like it is. But when you're actually turning the steering wheel, it doesn't at all feel like a larger size SUV. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of a walk around of the Highlander. Hopefully you learned something today and feel free to come by anytime if you want to test drive this one. Uh, right now it's just a couple days before Christmas with this being 25,000 mile for 2017. There's no telling how long this one's gonna last here. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.